Hello, welcome to Java Programming Tutorials, Chapter 3, Installing Java, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. So in this session, we are going to learn about how to install Java on your machine. So, Java is freely available on Oracle website. So if you need to install Java, then we have to visit this URL which is present here www.oracle.com. So we can download the Java from there and you can install on your machine. So let us jump to that URL. Okay, I'm opening Chrome right now and here I'll just type like Java uh, download and here I'll get a list of things and I'll click on this Oracle website and here you can observe okay we'll get a uh, two options to download the Java that is Java platform and NetBeans with JDK 8 so let me jump back to presentation see when we visit the above URL we can find two options to install Java that is Java development kit and JDK with NetBeans this NetBeans is a IDE integrated development environment so if you need only the Java then you have to click on this one and if you need the IDE also that is NetBeans then you have to click on this button so right now I will need only this Java so I will click on this and let me scroll down and here you can observe if you want to download the Java then you have to accept the license agreement and if your machine is 64 bit then you have to click on this URL or this link or if your machine is 34 bit then you have to click on this link so now my machine is 64 bit so I'll click on this one so it will download the Java exe file right now okay you can observe very clearly it's been downloading and it takes some time to download so let me jump back to presentation and let me show you something else so before installing Java so what we have to do is first we have to check whether the Java is installed in our machine or not so how to check it it's very simple first we have to open the command prompt okay then we have to enter the command Java C so let me do that I'll press Windows R, window R so I'll get this uh, so I'll enter the command CMD command prompt when I click that I'm getting this window so here what I need to do is I need to just type okay here I need to just type the command Java C so when I hit enter it's telling like Java C it's not recognized as an internal or external command okay or operable program or batch file so in the sense Java is not installed on machine right now so if it is installed it will, it will return me these options you can observe very clearly from this image if I have installed my if I have installed Java already on my machine when I type this command Java C okay it will give me a list of these options right now in our machine I have not installed the Java so it gave me it's a it, it gave me a error like telling like let me show you again like it thrown me an error telling like Java C is not recognized in the sense I have not installed Java on my machine right now so in this session what we will learn is we will learn like how to install Java on a machine so let me go back to Chrome and let me check out whether my uh, Java file has been downloaded completely no it's been still happening so once it is done what I'll do is I'll take the CXC file and I will double click on that okay and once I double click on that the output okay it has to install on the machine okay once it is installed what are the next steps we have to do let me go back to presentation let me show you okay once I install Java on a machine next thing what we need to do is we need to set the path so here are the steps okay how can we step the uh, how can we set the path of the Java okay uh, first we have to okay click on the Windows system icon then we have to click on the advanced system settings then click on the advanced tab and click on the environment variables then we have to add a new variable by the name path or whatever the name we, we, you wish okay then we have to um, add this file path where our Java is installed okay right I've taken this as example so let us see like where we'll install it and we'll copy the path and we'll give it as a value to the variable name so let me jump back to Chrome and let me see whether it's been downloaded completely or not yes uh, it's been done around nine seconds left so let me wait for that and once it is done what I'll do is I'll just copy that file okay and I'll take that and I'll double click on that so it's been done almost done so let me go to that folder where it's been uh, showing folder so here is my Java file so what I'll do is I'll just copy this and I'll keep it in my desktop so so or else let me let me keep it in this folder itself so what I'll do when I double click on that okay 
what we are trying to do is we are trying to install Java on the machine so I gave us so let us see like what's gonna happen once it is installed completely so let's wait for that it's, it takes some time so this is how we have to download the Java from this website and we have to install Java so let me go back to my desktop let me check out whether it's been done or not it takes some time yes you can observe a window telling like welcome to the installation wizard for Java SE development kit and right now it's computing the space and now we got the next button when I click on that and again I'll click next so right now it's been installing Java okay and it's doing the necessary configuration so let's wait for that so once it is installed next thing is we need to set the path and I'll show you how to do that so it's extracting the installer so these are the steps it undergoes when it installs Java on your machine so let's wait for that now it's been almost done okay yes it's almost done and now we will get a message telling like Java is installed on some billion devices or million devices let us let us see that what is the output we are going to get so now the status it's been not updated okay uh, okay let us not change the destination folder let it be that only let me click next and installing Java you can observe the status here okay and let's wait for that again so once it is installed completely we need to follow the steps to set the path once we set the path then I'll again open the command prompt window then I'll enter the command Java C so at that point of time if your Java is installed properly it should give me a list of options okay Java options so you can observe very clearly it's been installing right now and once it is done okay and it's almost at the end let's wait for that again okay so you can observe very clearly we're getting a message Java development kit version 8 it's been installed successfully on the machine so let me close that so now how do I confirm it I have to go to the path and I have to check it so I'll go to my C drive and program files you can observe we have a folder called Java here and now we have installed the Java completely on the machine so what is the next step once we have installed the Java on the machine so it's very simple once Java is installed on your machine we need to set the path okay so steps to set the path are suppose we have installed the Java in this program file okay right now I've done the same thing you can observe here my this is the path where I've stored my Java okay and let me go back to presentation on the Windows 10 if I'm using right now Windows 10 what I need to do is I need to click on the Windows icon select system and I have to select this system option right click I have to select this one system and once I do that I need to click on you can, you can observe here once I select the system I need to click on advanced system settings so let me go there and let me do it I have to click on advanced system settings then I need to click on this advanced tab then I need to click on this environment variables so now what I need to do is I need to set the path okay so how do I set the path it's very simple so I already have a path here so let me delete that so now I need to add a path so its name is the variable name is path and here the variable value what I need to do is I need to give the path of the Java file where, where I, what I have stored this is the path okay, I have to open this bin okay this is my JDK bin and I have to copy this path so I'll copy this and now what I'll do is I'll just give the variable value as that now I'll click OK and you can observe we have added a path at the variable and the value is the Java path where we are stored okay then I'll click OK and this too and let me close this this too now what I'll do is I'll open my Windows command prompt and I'll enter here and I'll type Java C 
okay once I type Java C you can observe very clearly okay right now I type Java C and you can observe we are getting a list of options in the sense right now the Java has been installed on your machine but before when I showed you like when I typed this command it showed me a message telling like Java C is not recognized as an internal command in the sense Java was not installed at that time right now we are getting this list of options in the sense Java is installed on the machine so these are the steps you need to fol follow when you're working with the Java installation the first thing is okay you have to visit this website then you have to download either of these these things like if you need only the Java software then you have to download that one or if you need the IDE that is NetBeans then you have to click on the respective button and next thing is we need to check whether the Java is installed on the machine or not how do you check it open the command prompt then you have to type this command so this this tells you whether Java is installed on your machine or not if it is installed it will, be ret it will return me these options if it is not installed it will tell me like Java C is not recognized as an internal command so once you install the Java on your machine the next thing is we need to set the path so how do we set the path okay we need to click on the system okay you need to click on this system okay then one I click once I click on the system I need to uh, click on the advanced sy system settings I'll show you again system then I need to click on the advanced system settings okay and once I click on the advanced system settings then I have to click on the advanced tab here and I have to click on environment variables so it's going to return me this one environment variables okay and then what I need to do is I'll tell you again then what I need to do is I need to let me close this so once I click on the environment variables then I need to add path as a new variable name and the file path of the Java where it is installed that's what I'm done here I've added a path and I was and I've assigned the value as the file path of the Java where it is installed then I have to click OK so once it is done let me confirm whether it is installed or not by going to command prompt again then typing there Java C so once I do that it's going to return me the list of Java options in the sense Java is installed on your machine completely so this is how you will install Java on your machine so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Langpro Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference refer website we are on LinkedIn too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day